So I'm staying back here in the guest room slash office. Well, now let's get the lights on. Um, but Terry is going to give us a tour of the house, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now then, this is one of my lamps. This lamp says something. This says, Neb Keperu Ray, Lord of the Manifestation of the Sun God Ray. This was the throne name of Tutankhamun. When an Egyptian prince became Pharaoh, he took a throne name. Now what modern day figure does the same thing? Don't know. The Pope. Oh, yes. This right here, <clears throat> I drew this up and had this executed in Egypt. This is Horus, this is Osiris, and this is Isis. These are scenes from the Egyptian Book of the Dead, which dates back about 5,000 years, and 3,000 maybe. And this is, this is the most famous copy of the Book of the Dead, which is in the British Museum. This is Ani. He was a royal scribe who lived about 1250 B.C. Here, once again, you see, you see uh, uh, Horus. But now, what do you notice different about this particular one? Mm. Just tell me. This guy has white wig and glasses. What this says is, Thus saith Horus, the son of Isis, I come before you and I bring glass artist Jerry Preston. His heart is true, coming forth from the balance did not sin against any gods or goddesses, was witness, <coughs> was witness, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Judged by the god Thoth and witnessed by the great goddess Maat. May he be given bread and beer coming into the presence of Osiris and may he be like the followers of Horus forever. These, I brought back blank papyrus from Egypt. And I then did these. These are scenes from the tomb of Nefertiri. Nefertiri was the principal wife of Ramses the Great. He had seven wives. Two of them were his own daughters. He believed in keeping it in the family. So he, this, is, this is Nefertiri. The same thing over here. This is the goddess Maat. She was the god of, 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 that kept the universe in order. This is words broken by Maat, the daughter of the sun god Bray. I protect my daughter, the great wife of the king, Nefertiri. And here, the, the Egyptians believe that when, if you led a, a righteous life, that you became one with Osiris. So what this says is, Osiris, they were referred to as the Osiris when they had become one. Osiris, great wife of the king, lady of the two lands, upper and lower Egypt, Nefertiri, beloved of the goddess Mut, justified before the great god Osiris. Here Nefertari is seen playing the game of Senate, and the unseen opponent is fate. Now, the Egyptians counted time according to the reign of the king. So, he was like, something occurred a year or two in the, war, in the reign of, of Osiris, of, I mean, of, of Ramses. What this says is, what was made by glass artist Jerry Preston, year six, under the reign of the Lord of the White House, Clinton. One more thing. These items right here, 3,000 years old, these were given by Lord Carnarvon to the Lord Mayor of London back in the 20s. The Lord Mayor gave them to his daughter. She married an American and moved to Orlando and was next door neighbor to one of our friends. And so <clears throat> she called up one, called him up one day and said, Sut, the grandkids have gotten into this stuff from King Tut's tomb and they have lost them in the sandbox. If you want to come over here and see fair, you can have them. So, Sut said he had more things in, he had more, more of these items in his safety deposit box. So I said to him, Sut, what, I, what could I possibly do for you to cause you to part with just one item from King Tut's tomb? He said, no, I'm going to give you all of them. Yeah. Okay, this is, the, this is my shrine <laughs> to Egyptian hieroglyphs and what have you. Some of these items are 3,000 years old. Okay, back here used to be another bed. This was like another bedroom. And we, we converted it into an office. And then just fairly recently, we even bumped it out further. 
but not very far because we didn't want to to uh, interfere with that tree. Okay. This is where yeah. John spends most of his time. Let's see. We have. Do you have a name for that tree out there? It's an oak tree. Well, I know it's an oak tree, but I thought maybe you had given it a special name. No special name. Okay, and there's your new and large studio, which is quite magnificent, I have to tell you, especially compared to the old one. Now, here is Miss Bashful. She's behind you now. Okay. She thinks it's dinner time. This is our custom-made C holder. Okay. This is a a note from President George Bush Sr., not the idiot son. John made these lamps right here. Now, this right here is probably 10,000 years old from northern Thailand, filled with rice for the journey after death more artifacts. Earliest known bronze jewelry from Thailand. Into the kitchen. This is my collection of Labradorite. Now for the purposes of um, these kitchen cabinets were recycled from another home. That's right. Very wealthy. <laughs> Don't go into the details. Customer. Just these were from another home. That's right. And a woman who just, who had them decided she didn't want them anymore. So John and Jerry got them out and reused them, repurposed them for a new kitchen. You did the granite though, correct? Yep. Dishwasher, which we have used twice. You need Two to use. Times. You need to use it more. It'll rust up. Two times. Okay, now here's the uh, the bedroom, and it was, um, this wall was pushed out to make it a little roomier, and was there a birdcage behind that, or a television? What? I don't need to see it, I'm just asking. No. Quiet the Dehumidifier. Yeah. We made, we, I made this. Hang on. I made this. Hang on, Jerry. Hang on. If you change this it. is the greatest thing since toilet paper. It's got a bidet built into oh, it. Oh, it's wonderful. I have a less elaborate bidet um, toilet seat, which I love. Turn more life no, no, no. It's fine, Jerry. Look at this. This was John's idea. Okay. Now, what was the thing out here you wanted me to see? The bedspread. I made this. Oh, okay. So I want this. They, the bolt was this wide, so I said, "Well, how do you, I don't want seams in it." And John said, "How about this?" Pipe so here. then we did use two different things. Okay. I made the pillows. Okay. Okay. And the headboard is lovely. Okay. Uh, All right. These are from Thailand. Okay. Yeah. Huh. That is John. He posed in the nude for an artist group or at the museum. Oh, years ago, I remember. John did these lamps, except I, I did these guys here. That was my first painting. Hmm. Okay. This is my prized possession here. You can see that the monkey sees his reflection in the in the mirror there. Yeah. This guy has gotten, he's been drinking his rum, and this is what the forest looks like to him now. This is John's very first lamp. This is my very first lamp.
when we moved in here. And that's one of your very first windows. When we moved in here, these windows were walled over with just with the, with the paneling. And if you go outside, you could see the, the raw paneling. And it was dark in this corner. So that was our first project was to create stained glass windows for those. This lamp here says something in Arabic. This says, Allahu Akbar, God is great. Because John had a contact with a... This is one of John's collaborations with, with Stanley Klopfenstein with a painted fish. This is one of his latest ideas. He calls it totally tubular. And he's hoping to sell those to surfers. This lamp right here is... I worked on for about a year because it has bent glass panels. I worked on this one for about a year. If you can get a close-up of the eye, you'll see that each eye is a bubble. These are authentic species of fish. We were on the cover of the Journal of the AVMA one year. Journal TV. Also, chose to be a vegan because Perfect. No point of having it in the yeah. <laughs> Dylan roof ensconced in this. Okay. This is another one of John and Stanley's creations. And these were development that we did in Tampa for over that part of the world. Okay, why don't you open the door and we'll go out on the porch. And of course Jerry's organ. Jerry's a very talented musician. Of course, these old Florida front porches, screen porches, are just so delightful. And this one especially has been expanded with all of the vegetation may have taken a hit in the hurricane, well, correct? It, it used to be really, we had orchid display here on this thing, but it's all, this needs to be totally redone. Yeah, well. One of these days. One of these days. Now, if you'll put on your shoes, we'll go out to the pond and I'll see if I can introduce you to Selena. Oh, I have movies of Selena that you've sent me. That's okay. Well, Sorry. You in person. You love it. Well, but, okay. Uh, you don't have to pick her up. No, no, no. I'll, um, let me pause this now. Stop it. What, explain the globe. It's called a MOBA globe. And it, it's really, it operates on, of course, the Earth's magnetic field and plus the photo light. What a magnificent setting up. It's well, it used to be really nice painting. when it's a very one where when the trees are blooming and all like that. But once again, our car, our yard is recovering slowly from the last hurricane. Uh, it will, all on its own. <laughs> it's a wonderful thing about foliage. It just grows <laughs> back. No matter what you do, it keeps growing back. Come on. Come and get it. Here. Get it. Come here. So tell us about the yard. Well, this is the backyard of the oak tree. That was one of the things that sold us on this place, was that beautiful old tree. I presume you have it checked on a regular basis so it's healthy. Well, not really. It got zapped quite a bit by one of the hurricanes. Yeah, of course. The nice thing is if it, uh, it's low, it's not tall, so if it did fall, it wouldn't hit the house. <laughs> Okay. Better to get down, easier to get down this. Okay. I'm going to go down the other ones, I think. Are they even steeper? But you got, you got, you got something okay. to go to here. But we can't go out the front. 
No, no, come on. Just Off tree in springtime has huge red flower. When we were in Egypt, we stayed on an island and they had kapok trees like this. It has these huge dragon dragon tail roots, you see? Oh there's one of these at the Auto Club building in uh, Los Angeles. Really? Yeah, it's not covered with all this foliage, <laughs> but no, they light it up every year at Christmas. One of these days, it's going to eat the pond. You can see what it's doing here. Well, it's seeking water. See here? Yeah. Oh, that's, that's a, that's a yeah. artesian well. Right. Well, that's what I was going to get up to the headwaters of the pond or up here, right? You know what these are? What? What? Who? What? What? Suck on that. No, I can't right now. Sweet, sweet, sweet. This is why it's such a favorite. What's the open. name of it? Turkish turban. It's a, it's a variety of hibiscus. Oh, okay. Turkish turban? Tur Turk's turban. Turk's turban. <sighs> so, as I recall, this pond was once what much smaller. Now, this is the spring right here, correct? Well, the spring is actually down there, but it's, it's by, so it comes up here. Oh. But, uh, Wait a minute, down where? It's down about where that bubble's coming at. It's where the well originally was. And you just kept digging this no, out and just, expanding John it? John did that, John. It really was, no, John, little Johnny's the one who, John Jr.'s the one who made this pond. Oh. Willingly, or did you guys encourage him to? John bought him his first computer. Oh. Uh, that was his. Okay. Yeah, what you can do. I'll stay right here. You can sit. No, no, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. You don't worry about me. I can take care of myself. See that the raccoons have tried desperately to get in here. They can open up. Well, they can open up anything. Out. Selena may not want to show up. Come here, Selena. Come on. Come on. Come on. Is this uh, dog food? No, it's actually fish food. Oh. It's uh, wild fish catfish, food. catfish, catfish food. food. But um. all we got in here are guppies and uh, sword tails. And minnows. And they're all, they're guppies. Guppies and sword tails. They're tropical fish. The uh, otter ate my last three beautiful koi right after the last big hurricane. What did it do, get past the electric fence? Yeah, went around it. And uh, some of the ones that were left had been there for 13 years. So it was really kind of traumatic when I get up on my fish. Mm -hmm. I can imagine. Selena has helped to fill the gap because she's so friendly. Oh. But she may or may not come. Sometimes she's waiting for me right here. And sometimes, uh, one night I made it here, I didn't bring, one time I was, I came out here and I didn't bring any food because I hadn't seen her in several days. So I was sitting here and she comes up to me. So then I get up and go in the, cat, the house to 
to get some food for her. And when I come back, she's up on my pillow here. Mm -hmm. But sometimes she'll crawl up my leg. What kind of snake is she? It's a banded water snake. Mm. Is it naturally existing in Florida? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She just comes and goes. Mm -hmm. But I fed her yesterday. And so I fed her quite a bit, so she may not may not show up today, so I won't keep her. Okay. Anyway, this is the pond. Mm. And we have what is absolutely necessary if you expect to be in the outdoor living in Florida. This is the best. Mm. And when it hits them, like when a, a mosquito, not, it does makes noise like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway, usually they're out oh. here at coast. What kind of stand of trees is that right there? This? It's Australian pines. I thought so. I always loved Australian pines. I was but sad when I found out they took them out of the state. You know, they had them all along US 27 through the swamp or barrier, and then they took them all out because they weren't native. So. And they keep falling down. And oh, okay. So I'm very apprehensive about the one over by the, by the carpool. Oh. And bamboo. This is giant bamboo. They use this, you know, for scaffolding in China, some of the even in China now. They build houses out of it. There's a whole yeah. article about this beautiful home that was built out of bamboo because they've discovered a way to treat it so that the insects won't eat it, which was always the problem in the now, past. I call this the John C. Holmes Memorial Bamboo Grove. Don't we know why? This is going to be for mixed audiences, Jerry. <laughs> uh, and notice the 5V metal roof on the house. Florida classic architecture. Yeah, the home itself has some historical significance just because of the roof. As I said, the yard is recovering from the last hurricane. John's plan to put a bench here. One of the Australian pines fell on this hurricane. So, so it has to be repaired. John is doing it. We've got a tour coming from the Morris Museum next month, and John will everything will be up to snuff when they come here. We had our old Camry that John didn't want to get rid of when we finally had to, so this is where it was, was parked. But now it's become sort of a catch-all. A gazebo, a lovely gazebo, also with a tin roof. And then circumnavigating. Rental car. Right on what right where? Yeah, you see where the oh, the, there? yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, Well, it's beautiful. It's only got 60,000 miles on it. It's like a spring chicken. You like new. 
We have here a historical sign from the Pioneer and Frontier days. That's from New Orleans. New Orleans Police Department. Our friend Seth gave this to us. And, and this, this shoe was here on the garage when we moved it. Ah. 40 years ago. Wow. And now we have the new studio, which is at least, what, five times bigger than the old one? Yeah. And because they prefer to work with natural breezes, this is all screened. And uh, what I would call old Florida, before the air conditioner predominated our lives, people worked and lived with fans and screens and breezeways. This is more of a magnificent artwork that all starts right here in this basic, humble, creative space. It's like a kitchen for glass. <laughs> oh, here's another tube-shaped lamp. It's going to be beautiful when it's done. Bending the glass must be challenging. Well, you have a our special... friend does that. No, our friend does that with the, with the kiln. Oh, okay. You have a form, you put it over in weights and... Yeah. Okay. There, hook that solid. This is Hearst Castle. We donated the lamp there. Oh. Let's see. Are those the Hearsts? No, it's just a, a fancy guest. Okay. How far away is the train track? Not very far. I love the sound of trains going by. Ever since I was a little boy, we had train track about three blocks away. That was the that we did for Cecil Fielder, who was one of the big time baseball players. Uh, <coughs> okay. Okay, I'm going to wrap up. Right. Is there anything else you want to say? Glad to see you. Glad to be here. <laughs>